This video shows how to download, install, configure, and use X-Lights with the Holiday Coral Acta Dongle. First thing you want to do is go ahead and download X-Lights. Search for X-Lights in Google, click the download button, and depending upon your particular browser, there will be a download box at the top or a download box at the bottom. Now, X-Lights is a free application. There is no charge for its use and it's very versatile. We use it often for testing. I'm going to go ahead and say run, next, accept the agreement, next, 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 create an icon, and we're going to install it and run it when we're finished. All right. So when you first start, you would need to configure show directory. This is where sequences and media files for those sequences be located. X-Lights not only can be used to test things, but it can be used to play sequences from LOR and x lite sequencing applications. Now the first thing we need to do is do a network setup. Before we, but before we do that, we need to configure which particular COM port we're going to use. So I've gone ahead and plugged in my Acta dongle, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and search for Device Manager. And I've got Device Manager here. Now Device Manager may depend upon your particular um, PC in Windows version. Uh, I have just simply hit the start button and typed in device manager to find device manager. Now, it's plugged in currently. You'll see it appears just as USB serial port COM7. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this mm -hmm. and you'll see it disappear. You can hear it beep. And then I'm going to plug it back mm -hmm. in again. So in this particular case, we do have the Acta dongle set up on COM7. All right, let's go ahead and minimize that. Let's go ahead and go to Network Setup in x -Lights. And there are a variety of different output devices or network types that it supports. Now, the one we'll be using is the DMX Pro slash Lynx. This is for the Intech Pro model. Now, we'll simply select the port, the COM port, COM7, and we'll just go ahead and enter 512 because there is a maximum of 512 channels in any given universe. Uh, for DMX, and I'm going to click OK, so we can see we have DMX configured, and we have it on COM port 7 with 512 channels. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save, and now we're going to go to schedule and test. Now, in this test setup, I have the active dongle going through power with CAT5, and there's power supply not shown here, and we have two DMX controllers with RGB lights hooked up. Now, these lights are not going through their built-in sequences right now, because they are receiving a keep alive signal. The signal is coming out of the active dongle to these controllers. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click this little button up here that says test lights, and that will bring us to our test console. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and say select all. Now you can test individual channels, so if you're trying to test whether something is on a given channel, you can do that. Or if you're not sure which address your controllers are on, you can just say select all, and you can see that this will have all 512 channels turned on. Uh, there's a variety of different tests you can do. You can do all the different kinds of things like chases and twinkles, turning on and off just specific background colors. Um, there's RGB tests where you can test individual colors. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go to the RGB cycle. So we're going to go ahead and select ABC all. Then we're going to go ahead and just push up the speed here. And you can see that both of them come on. So I'll turn it down a little bit so you see red, green, blue, and then all is white, which is red, green, blue to combine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say clear all, and I'm going to target a particular controller. Now one of these controllers is start address of 123, so that means it's got three channels, one, two, three. And just to speed this up, we'll show you this controller here is one, two, three. And if we go down here, We'll check off channel 126. That should end up with just red on this controller. And then we can add the green. Then we can add the blue. And then to see that this controller is 123, we can uncheck those. And that's all there is to it. You'll find x lights to be a wonderful test utility, not only for burning in your devices to ensure that they're reliable, but also for testing when you're not sure of particular addresses that are assigned to controllers. That concludes this video on how to use X-Lights with a Holiday Coral Acta Dongle.